So today I'm starting off with a rant about the save the manuals. This is a Mazda speed hatchback. 2007 generation with a five speed and the whole generation of cars that were analog like this with not a whole lot of bells and whistles with a manual transmission are pretty much gone like it's a sad day to say that which is why if you ever have if you've never had experienced one of these type of cars go find one go drive one it's a whole different just feel of driving it's it's incredible honestly i wish i could buy this car but i can't um it was so much fun to drive from the dealership back to the garage because it's just, it's so simple and pure and it's hard to explain that feeling if you've never done it before. So that's why I recommend it. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get this thing ripped apart. The interior is obviously trashed from these before shots like you guys saw. So we're gonna get the seats ripped out. We're gonna get all the stuff in the trunk pulled out, get the center console pulled out. So that way we can do a really in-depth clean and make this thing look like new for the next owner that's gonna enjoy this car. Usually when I pull out these rear benches is where I find a whole bunch of goodies. Underneath this one in particular, I didn't have that opportunity, which was kind of sad and disappointing to be honest, but it was taken care of enough. This thing is just full of dirt and dog hair and the carpets are stained, which you guys will see uh, when I extract the seats and floor mats. Uh, they came out mint. Now while I'm vacuuming up the rear part of this carpet, I do want to say on foxclean.com, my own personal brand of detailing products, I'm running a buy two APC, get an APC free. So you get three for the price of two. The APC works insane. It's all I use on the inside of this vehicle for the most part, and it smells amazing. Just look at the reviews, see what people say. You will not be disappointed. So after this video, head over to foxclean.com, take advantage of it. There's also a link in the description box for you guys.
Now, when it comes to rear carpet like this, or even floor mats, one thing that I'm starting to do more of is using these cone type drill brushes, which you can also get on foxclean.com. Uh, there's a whole little set you can get, but these cone shaped ones are great for holding your drill sideways like this to get any remaining dog hair or embedded like pieces of grass that you really can't get out with a vacuum. And if you've ever tried to vacuum the rear part of your trunk or carpet, it's a pain in the butt. Like it's hard to get it out. This is the only way that I've found able to do it. And it helps get all of that stuff loosened up, pulled to the surface for that last vacuum step before extraction or just to get it all cleaned up. I do want to give a big shout out to all the Stoffer Garage members who've signed up for the private Discord server through the memberships tab on my YouTube channel. So that's R Wingo S7, Jamil Musa, Melly G, Ryan Darling, Alan Klosterman, and Mariam R. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for supporting this channel by signing up for those memberships, taking advantage of all those perks, and then also chatting with me on the Discord group. Um, I love answering all you guys' questions, telling you kind of what's coming up on the channel, what's new, what I have future planned out, um, just kind of sharing all the behind the scenes stuff with you all. So if you haven't signed up for memberships, definitely check out my channel page, sign up for them. There's different levels that you can get to um, and sign up for. But anybody that has signed up or is signing up in the future, I appreciate it. It helps in what makes this channel possible so that way I can continue to do these details for free.
Now, if you are interested in the other products I use, um, they're all listed in the description box below for my extractor, my uh, carpet cleaning solution I use, along with some of the other tools that you can pick up. Um, those are all Amazon links down below. So make sure you check them out. Um, but for extraction and any of the carpet, I use Flex Ice, which is a citrus-based cleaner. And then there's also an extraction rinse fluid that goes in my extractor. And this helps with, one, just breaking down everything, being biodegradable and safe, you know, so it doesn't have super strong chemicals that can damage your skin or be uh, um, allergenic. And then the Flex Ice Rinse is what helps neutralize the pH of the carpet fibers and keep them soft and pliable over time. Because sometimes if you use a stronger product that's not pH neutral um, or neutralize the pH of the actual carpet cleaner, you'll get that stiff fiber where they kind of clump together or they're, they're really hard to the touch. So that is why I like to use both those products. Now I want to ask you all if there's any types of videos you want to see, whether you want me to redo the polishing video, whether you want me to do more specific videos on different types of tools or cleaning different steps, let me know in the comments below. Give me some video suggestions that you want to see on this channel. Um, I want to add some more content for you all. I know that these details are what you like to see, but if you have a specific topic that you want me to cover as well, I'm happy to and I'm always open to suggestions, so let me know in the comments below.
Now I cleaned the spare tire and I'm gonna clean all the rear stuff in the, in the trunk area. But one thing I recommend is on at least a six month basis, if you're cleaning your car out, check the PSI and the air pressure inside your spare tire. Cause you'll never know when you're gonna use it. Hopefully you never have to, but it would suck if you get stuck on the side of the road and you're trying to change your tire and you find out your spare is flat. So always check the PS PSI on that every once in a while. Make sure the air pressure is up there. If you're filling up your tires on the outside of the car um, at a gas station or at home, go ahead and check your spare as well. It's just, it's really good practice to have that sort of, you know, um, um, thoroughness along with checking your oil and all those other things. But um, using APC and my microfiber towels and detailing brushes to clean up these rear trunk bits, put them all back in there. Um, you'll never see them for the most part unless you change your tire, but it's always nice to be thorough and make sure your whole car is clean. Now a common question I get is how do I dry out my seats or dry out the carpets on the interiors of these cars? Um, being in Ohio, especially during the winter time, I don't have the opportunity to leave it outside in the sun. Plus, it takes a little bit longer. So for me, I have two blower fans that I like to blow air across the car or inside the car across the seats. Um, so what I do is I set them all up in a row at the end of the night when I'm done detailing this thing and I have two of those fans just flowing air. Flow, airflow is what will dry them. And you know, think about it, if you ever get your carpets done inside your house, they put those big old blowers that sit on the ground that look like snails and they're just trying to blow air across the surface. And that pulls out that moisture, helps push airflow across them. And that is the quickest way and easiest way to dry them and why I do this and then let the car sit overnight, especially if I do something as intense as extracting the entire vehicle.
Now for today, I chose not to use a tornador. I wanted to kind of test my process after doing all the details the last several ones with the tornador and then without and just using my detailing brushes, APC and microfiber towels. And it's kind of a wash. I mean, with the setup, making sure the air compressor's on, hooking up your lines and everything else, I almost feel like the tornador is helpful in certain instances, but if you're trying to get into like some of the grooves and stuff like that where you need a brush to kind of agitate all the grease and grime, um, I'm not quite sure if it's a time saver or not. I might have to try to do a driver and passenger door panel and compare, but for me, I'm questioning whether or not um, just using detailing brushes is the quicker method because the tornador, you have to put a mask on and you get it blowing everywhere and then you kind of get some overspray. So it adds work, but helps with work. It's kind of a, kind of a toss up, if you will. Give me some directions to get to you, to get to you. Ain't gonna waste my time. I know that we got connection. I think about you. You're on my mind, on my mind, on my mind.